What's up guys, it's Alex here, and today we have number one overall seed Gonzaga facing off against number 16 seed Norfolk State. I did a simulation and Norfolk State ended up winning that play in game. So they will be facing number one Gonzaga here. This is the NCAA Basketball 10 simulation of the 2021 NCAA tournament. We've had one upset so far. It was that Georgia Tech number nine over eight Loyal Chicago yesterday. But last <laughs> last tournament in 2020, we had number one seed Gonzaga lose in the first round and getting upset by a 16 seed. Will it happen in this video? Let's find out. The winner of this game will go on to face the winner of Oklahoma and Missouri. There's the real life starting rosters for Norfolk State. Here we have Gonzaga with Jalen Suggs, Joel Ajay, along with Nemhard, Corey Kisper, and then Drew Timmy down low. Both teams looking to limit turnovers in order to win this game. But here we go. Number one overall seed Gonzaga. Number 16 Norfolk State. They upset number two Missouri in real life back in I think 2013 or 2015, something like that. And they win the tip here. Moving the ball around already, looking down low. Rises, fires, does not connect though. Jalen Suggs, the point guard, able to get the rebound. Now in real life, Gonzaga does have three All-Americans. It is Suggs, Kispert, and then Drew Timmy down low. But Nebhard tries to thread the needle there with a pass down low, but it gets intercepted here. Norfolk State driving and heading to the line. Foul on Drew Timmy. Knocks down the first one. But misses the second one, so Gonzaga has a chance here to take the lead on this possession. A deep two for Suggs, able to get it to go. So Gonzaga is able to knock down their first true shot on the game of their second possession. Let's see what Norfolk State can do here in response. Rising, firing, but does not connect on that one. Drew Timmy. Finding Joel Ajay, and he's able to get it to go. So now it is four to one. I mean, both teams play a balanced style of offense right there, but so far this game has been up tempo. Three rebounds for Gonzaga already, but none for Norfolk State. Working the pick and roll. Ah, nothing really going right there. Minute and a half gone in this game. Another pick and roll. Oh, a little spin move, and they're heading back to the line there. I think that was a foul on Suggs. Mark Few not happy with what he was seeing there on that possession. Joe Bryant knocks down the first one. And knocks down the second one as well. But he's getting trapped by Norfolk State in the backcourt. He's a Suggs is able to get it to Timmy there. Now it's with Nemhard. Norfolk State kind of looking like they don't really know what to do here on defense. Oh, but a bad pass by Nemhard right there. Norfolk State able to get the steal here about two minutes into the game. With a chance to take the lead, even. Looking down low, finding number 14. A little pick and roll action. Out to Bryant. Looking down low, and he gets tipped by Timmy and stolen by Suggs. Good defensive stop there by Gonzaga. Oh, Suggs gets behind the defense, but it <laughs> gets tipped and then hits it over to Nemhard, and he is able to get the shot to fall. So it is now 6 to 3 in favor of 1 seed Gonzaga.
contact there, but no foul called. The ref swallowed their whistle on that one. Their coach says they're doing a horrible job with ball reversals right now, which, I mean, yeah, they don't really have too much ball movement going on right now. No ball movement. Kispert for three. Does not fall. I guess that was a heat check for him. I think that was Kispert's first shot of the game. Under two minutes to go now in the first half. Let's see if they do some ball movement on this possession, listening to their coach. Yeah, it looks like they're passing around the ball a lot more. Rises, fires, does not connect. I mean, that was good. That was good ball movement by him. Just didn't work out. Their coach wants him to start penetrating and kicking more. Looking down low. I don't know how that pass connected from Nemhard to Suggs, but he's able to get it to go. 8-3 to three now in favor of Gonzaga. Norfolk State hasn't scored in the last two minutes, as you can see right there. Looking down low. This one should fall, though. Yep. A little hook shot able to fall in the net right there. 8-5 to five now. <laughs> one rebound for Norfolk State still this entire game. Kispert with the ball. Good pass down low to Nemhard, who gets hacked on the shot. Andrew Nemhard at the line here. One minute and one second to go in the game. Knocks down the first one. Drew Timmy dapping him up right there. Knocks down the second one as well, so it is now 10-5 to five here with a minute to go in the first half. Gonzaga able to get the steal by the trap in the backcourt and fouled as well. Man, what is Norfolk State doing here? Tons of free throws here in the first half for both teams. A geology major for Jalen Suggs. Knocks down the first one to make it 11-5. Knocks down the second one as well. I mean, Gonzaga's been doing pretty good with their free throws here. Trapping them again. Will they be able to get another steal? Oh, nope. They're able to break the press. Jalen Suggs has outscored Norfolk State by himself. Good ball movement here by Norfolk State. Good little pick and roll there. Able to get it down low to number 15 who gets the basket right there. Not sure how that pass made it through, but don't know if it was a glitch or just a good, patch in or good pass in general. Looking down low, Ajay rises, fires, but doesn't connect. Kispert didn't even try to go for the rebound on that play. Will Norfolk State save it for the last shot of the or of the half here? Looking down low, they rise, fire. Nope, they found the shot that they wanted, but it does not connect. Now Gonzaga with six seconds to go in the first half. Ajay with the ball. Pulling up for a medium range two. Does not connect, so we head into the break. With Gonzaga here up 12 to 7 in the first half. Yep, there's Jalen Suggs with six points on two of two shooting. The rebound battle has just been killing Norfolk State this game. And the turnover battle is well, I mean, both teams have two turnovers. But here we go. Both teams having a chance to talk it over during this halftime break. Norfolk State, this coach wants them to finally find a way back in this game. I mean, they only find themselves down by five here at halftime, so, I mean, there's still a chance. Kispert with the ball in the triple threat position, looking down low. Good ball movement. Everybody getting a touch on this position. Timmy with the ball. Out to Suggs. Down to Timmy. Rises, fires. Does not connect, but Ajay gets the rebound. And the putback. Okay, Joel Ajay. 14-7 now. On the offensive glass. How about that? Norfolk State trying to move the ball around here. Thought he was going to take the three. But looking down low, a little spin move, contact, not able to get it to go. First foul on Andrew Nemhard this game. Kianzi Chavez going to the line here.
Knocks down the first one. Knocks down the second one as well. Gonzaga trying to push the ball up the floor here. Trying to pick up the pace a little bit a minute into the second half. Joel Ajayi was trying to post up down low. But they find Suggs fading away. Does not connect. Kispert, though, on the board. Able to get it to go. Kispert gets his first points of the game. 16-9 now with 3.47 to go here in the second half. The rebound battle, again, still just killing Norfolk State. Another free throw. And one, no. Okay, Norfolk State, they're still trying to stay in this game. Knocks it down, too. Only a four-point game with 3.39 to go. Could Gonzaga still be in trouble? Norfolk State bringing the trap. Able to escape it. Timmy with the ball. Over to Ajay. Little spin move. Fading away. That's a bad shot. Oh, call me Paul George again. <laughs> I thought it was a bad shot, but it falls in. Fading away off that elbow. I guess whatever works. Pick and roll here for Norfolk State. They rise up the elbow and they knock it down. They respond right back. These two teams going tit for tat right now in the second half. Timmy with the ball out to Kispert down low to Suggs, but he gets rejected. Norfolk State on the fast break. But it gets rejected, but he gets the offensive rebound. He gets rejected again. Norfolk State could have brought it to within two points right there, but Gonzaga played fantastic trans transition defense, getting two blocks right there and getting possession back. Kispert finding Suggs, able to knock it down. Good play right there. Under two and a half to play, though, in the second half. Down low, contact, but no foul call, but he still gets it to go. 20 to 16 now. Drew Timmy with the ball, finding a giant down low, able to get it to fall. Twenty-two to sixteen, under two minutes to go now. Norfolk State able to break the pressure, and they're able to score again, bringing it back to within four. Norfolk State still trying to stay in this game somehow, and they turn it over. Norfolk State has a chance to bring it to within one possession here. Twenty-two to eighteen. They find number fifty-five down low. They do. Ooh, a post move. Oh, it doesn't fall. I'm rooting for Norfolk's sake at this state at this point to pull off the upset. Just a two possession game right now with over a minute to go. Ajay rising, firing, but not connecting. Timmy, though, gets the rebound contact and able to get it to fall. I mean, Norfolk State still only has two rebounds this game. 24 to 18. Norfolk State only 6 of 15, but the free... Free throw game, they've been getting tons of foul calls. 53 seconds to go. Down by six. They're taking a while here on this possession. But half the shot clock gone. A little power move down low, able to get it to fall. 24 to 20, Norfolk State's not out of it. 40 seconds to go. Kispert. To Nemhard, and they're intentionally fouling already. They could have had some time. North Norfolk State went for the steal there, but it falls out of bounds, so it still remains Gonzaga ball. Out to Ajay, who ends up getting fouled, so it looks like Norfolk State is going to go ahead and try to send Gonzaga to the line and play the free throw shooting game. Passing it out to Suggs. About a second comes off the shot clock there. Or game clock, really.
out to Ajay, and another foul. Still not in the bonus yet, though. Passes to Ajay again. I guess Ajay may be the best free throw shooter on Gonzaga. Still, still not in the bonus. Precious time coming off the clock, and they find Suggs right there. An extra bounce pass from Ajay. All right, I think this one here. This one should be the bonus, I would think. So in reality, about seven seconds comes off the shot or comes off the game clock from that foul. Suggs here at the line, two for two so far in this game from the line. Knocks down the first one to make it a five-point game. Looks like Timmy's talking to Suggs for a little bit. Knocks down the second one. Norfolk State takes a timeout. All right, here we go. 27 seconds left coming out of the timeout. Let's see what Norfolk State drew up. They need to shoot it. They're taking up some precious time here. 10 seconds gone on this possession. Pick and roll. The big guy for three. Doesn't connect, and Gonzaga is able to come up with the rebound here with 10 seconds to go. That was just a bad possession for Norfolk State. As long as he hits this first one, it'll be a three-possession game. If not, Norfolk State can get the rebound. Knocks down the first one, though. It is now a three-possession game with 10 seconds to go. Joel Ajay with nine points on the game. Make it 10. And they're subbing out all their starters. And they're still trapping Norfolk State in the backcourt. Five seconds to go. Got to get a quick shot up here. I think that ends going to end up being a deep two. They are able to corral the rebound, and Gonzaga survives a scare from Norfolk State. Able to pull away with the late game free throws, but Norfolk State was hanging with Gonzaga throughout the game. So Gonzaga advances to the second round where they will play the winner of number eight Oklahoma and number nine Missouri. Look at Joel Ajay getting player of the game with 10 points and two rebounds. So congratulations to the Gonzaga fans out there and Mark Hugh. They are moving on to the second round. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to check out the rest of the uh, NCAA Basketball 10 games that are coming out today. And I will see you all later.